It looks like Marvel Studios, Lucasfilm, and pretty much everything in Disney is going to scale back in regards to how much money they are spending on Disney Plus and live action TV series over the next couple of years. And one thing that they're going to scale back massively is the amount of money and budget that they dedicate to each project. So let's talk about this and what this could ultimately mean in the end. So this isn't surprising, and I will be the first to tell you and criticize many of the shortcomings on Disney+. Plus. She-Hulk CG? Yeah, that, um, that could have used a little bit more time in the oven if you get what I'm saying. Book of Boba Fett? Ooh. Some scenes in the finale of Miss Marvel? Oh boy. Look, it's been a up and down roller coaster. And again, budget has been a problem because they did so much at once. So what exactly is happening? Well, in terms of scaling back content, we already know that's happening. But now it's going a little further. They're looking to scale back how much money they are investing and cut costs on everything. Now, what would this ultimately mean? Well, I think you got to look at this with a realistic approach and look at it through a sort of lens that makes sense. And I'll explain what I'm trying to say. Do you renew She-Hulk for a second season or Miss Marvel for a second season and go, okay, we're going to do eight to 10 episodes of each and each one is going to cost us 15 million. Or do you say, okay, we renew She-Hulk and Miss Marvel. We do five to six episodes of each but we invest 12 million in each one and we take longer to get it out. So the 12 mil we invest in each episode has a longer time in post-production to get the most out of what we need. And we're not overstuffing the schedule so we can actually turn out more quality content in terms of CG and visuals in the end than rushing it out. Again, I've said it before in my rant video, talking about some of the uh, cost-cutting measures and scaling back and underpaying VFX artists. Why did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which was produced on a shoestring budget of like $1.5 to $2 million an episode, have better visual effects today than many projects today, costing eight times the amount of money per episode? Because they were careful with how they utilized it, they took more time, and they used it when needed. Again, they've been overstuffed and overworked, so this isn't surprising, and I think it's good. And this isn't really shocking because we've heard about them really looking at the schedule and analyzing everything and trying to figure out what do we do with this? Because there's episodes of WandaVision and Hawkeye whose budgets ballooned up to $25 million per episode. That's 12 episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for one episode of one of those. And I will easily sit here all day and argue with you that an entire half a season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if you extract those visual effects, had way better looking things than either Hawkeye or WandaVision. So, yeah, I think it's smart that they're going to do this. And I actually really think that they should have implemented this from the, really from the start. Um, it's going to benefit everybody. 